So you just got asked to come up with a music video concept for a new song. So you get an email from a label and they ask you to come up with a concept as soon as possible and to send over a video treatment. In most cases, that email that they sent you was not just sent to you, they probably sent it to a bunch of other directors. And in other cases, they'll ask for that music video treatment to be delivered like the next day. So it is important that you know what a video treatment is, how to come up with a concept for a music video idea and deliver the best possible treatment to land you that gig. So here's what we do. Your music video treatment is going to be your pitch. It shows your interpretation of the song and your way of communicating your ideas for what you envision the music video to look like over to the client. Think of it less as like a detailed script of everything that you want to happen within the music video and more so as a visual and mood board that you envision the, the video to look like and to feel like and the concept to be developed around. So you're essentially putting together some sort of mood and visual board that shows some sort of direction for your client to wrap their head around. Here are four steps that I follow to get a great music video treatment together. Step one, I listen to the song a million times. I put it on while I drive, I put it on while I shower, I put it on while I clean, cook, do the dishes, and I just get that song constantly playing in my head so I get a good feel for the song, try to interpret what the artist was trying to get across in their message, and also try to think about what that song reminds you of in terms of other musicians. What songs have you heard? What musicians have you heard that you can kind of relate that song to? And then go check out that musician's work, that musician's video. That's the first thing I do. Listen to the song a ton of times and just get the ideas going. Step two is you're gonna watch a whole bunch of music videos. If you're like me, you're a huge fan of music videos and you watch them all the time anyway, so you have a good idea of those type of music videos that you've seen and that you've liked, and that can kind of relate to the concept that you want to come up with. So for me, it's not a last second thing, like all of a sudden I need to consume a million music videos because I've seen so many in the past and I remember so many music videos just because I enjoy watching them. So when it comes down to having to come up with ideas for new music videos, I kind of have uh, videos in mind that I can kind of jump off of and be inspired by. So I've listened to the song a million times. I've thought about who that song kind of reminds me of and what musicians that song could kind of be put into the same category with. And I go check out those other musicians uh, and see what music videos have been made for them and kind of generate ideas off of music videos within the same genre and see what people are doing. So spend a good couple hours checking out other music videos and see what you like and see if anything sparks ideas in your head. See if you can combine the styles of different music videos, the ideas from different music videos and build off to create your own concept. Step three, you should be very close to narrowing down to a concept that you want to pursue. You've seen a ton of music videos at this point. You've generated ideas from listening to the song a bunch. So you should have a direction of where you want to go at this point. And now that you have that concept in your head, go back into the internet and find images and find things that fit the mood for your concept and do your best to find images that communicate what's up in your head so that you can put it down for someone to actually tangibly see. So you're not just trying to communicate what you're seeing through words, you're actually showing them what the video could possibly end up looking like. So I'll go back and screenshot clips that I loved and inspired me from other music videos and just kind of collect a bunch of images that are going to fit your concept and clearly communicate the idea that's in your head to your client. So step number four, it is finally time to create your video treatment. So I particularly like to go and create my music video treatments in Google Slides. I'm sure there's other methods that other cinematographers use, but I use Google Slides. The first thing you wanna think about is branding your video treatment to fit the concept that you are going for. So you don't wanna just put together some random you know, fonts, some random colors. You want it to be very consistent with the concept and make it look as professional as you possibly can. Because right from the jump, when they open your video treatment, they're gonna make a, a split second decision on whether you're qualified for the job as soon as they, they open it and see that first homepage. So I'll start out with the title page. I'll put an image of what I think works best for the concept. So on the next page, what I'll do is I'll put down a quote from the song, something that really jumped off right to me when I was listening to a song that I kind of built the concept around. And so I'll take that, that small little line and I'll put that dead center just so people have an idea of, you know, what triggered my thinking for the concept. Then I like to organize my treatment into 
vignettes or different stories within the story. So for this video treatment in particular, the overall idea was showing women of strength uh, overcoming challenges and at the end they all come together. So one vignette would be the boxer with herself. The second vignette would be the, the dancer within herself. The third vignette would be the performance takes of the musician singing. And the final vignette would be, you know, the coming together of the story. Uh, you know, all the women standing on stage together and being powerful together. So for each specific vignette, what I'll do is take those screen grabs, take all those visual inspiration that I was able to pull from the internet and I'll put them in an organized manner under each vignette, showing how I envision each vignette looking. Then once I have all the vignettes in place and the looks for each vignette in place, I have a slide that kind of pulls it all together and kind of gives you a brief showing what the music video is gonna come out to look like. Then so once I have everything together, everything looks clean, I'll export it as a PDF and I'll just attach it to an email and send it back as soon as I can to the client. And a lot of times you'll send a, vi a awesome video treatment that you think is great and you'll send it over and you'll never hear from the label again. That is not rare from my personal experience. So don't get down on yourself. Don't think your idea sucked. Maybe save that idea for another music video that might come your way. Because I can't tell you how many times I've pitched music video ideas to labels at this point. Hadn't heard anything, but all of a sudden out of nowhere, uh, someone will pick up one of your ideas and think it's great and they'll give you the go ahead and uh, you'll be on your way to creating an awesome music video that you planned out. I hope that was helpful for you. I hope you get many music video gigs if that's something that you're looking for. This is not something that's super specific to music videos either. These are pitches that you can send over to any clients and just a great way for you to communicate your vision to your client so you can end up doing a cool project uh, and make your client feel comfortable giving you the reins uh, on the creativity on the project and just take it on full steam ahead. Thank you for letting me be a part of your filmmaking careers and until next time guys, see ya.